I think it was in a bar, that, uh, the Side Street Lounge, I think it was, it was Lincoln Park. And uh, I remember that guy was at least, I remember his, to this day, I remember his last name, his, and his first name, Jerry Adams. But he was at least this much taller than your dad. Your dad actually grew after high school, actually. He was shorter than me. We ended up being about the same height, right? I think we were a little taller. Yeah, and uh, but he uh, he was pretty short, but uh, yeah, he had uh, he had nerve. So why they get in a fight? I don't know how it all started. You know, it didn't take much back then. You know, and it, it, all the testosterone, everybody. But it was a big thing, you know, to prove uh, who was the toughest. You know what I mean? And uh, especially in, like in a city like Taylor, and you always heard even like through elementary school who was the toughest, and it was always not a person, it was always a family. So it was always the Stevensons or the Bilberries. And then one day, well, the Stevensons met the Priolos, <laughs> and the toughest one got the sleeper. <laughs> and uh, so that changed that. So there was, you know, probably f from junior being him being a junior in high school to maybe a couple years after high school, he was extremely well known and he, another time when he used the sleeper we had a little i had a little rivalry going with these these guys that lived on morton view so anyway we're driving around like you would do you know you'd be partying you kind of driving up and down side streets and here comes these guys that we didn't like so i said hey stop <laughs> I rolled on the window i spit right in his face it was just <laughs> stupid so and then we went we, <laughs> we drove around a little bit and we went to our, our a, a certain place that we parked and uh, it was me and Keith and one other guy and I'll never forget this they knew we hung out at this certain area it was like a dead end and we're sitting there partying and I had a a, a uh, Grand Torino Sport which was a really cool Ford actually 1974 Grand Torino Sport and well they pulled up and they had a Ford Maverick it's funny Ford's coming out with a truck called Maverick right now and so Ford's little four-cylinder Maverick eight guys piled out and we were at a dead end, I couldn't get away. Eight guys and eight baseball bats. They knocked out every window, but one little window in the back, little sport window in the back of my car. And, but anyway, you know, we didn't get hurt, but Keith Bilbrey, they left one guy behind. Keith Bilbrey chased him all around Taylor till he finally caught him and just beat him. Tony, or uh, Annie. Uh, to beat him to half to death, but long story short, well, we later on, like maybe a month later, uh, we were at a party, and the Bilberries, your dad, were there, and we didn't notice we were in a basement of forty people or so. And here, here's this guy, and back then he wore chain belts and stuff, and you know that was the cool thing in the wall with the chain on it, anywhere in chain belts. So this guy's going, you know, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna F up a primal. So dad sees that, hears that, so, okay, let's go. So I never forget walking upstairs, I'm behind him, and uh, he steps out. The guy steps out, it's a screen door, a side door onto the driveway. Your dad steps out, I step out, the guy turns around, he got to sleep. <laughs> well, long story short, it, it was the wildest fight I've ever been into. It was like it was like five, we were five of us against like 20. But when it was all said and done, your dad had a whole trunk full of chain belts, collected all, all the chain belts. I'll never hear one guy drop his glasses. He said, watch my glasses, watch my glasses. <laughs> Stop them. But, uh, and, and they ended up uh, paying for my windows too, actually. They paid for all my windows. But uh, and another guy, uh, your Didn't dad- Didn't kid's tricycle and beat the shit out of No, that was Keith Bilbrey who did that. But uh, this was another party. House parties were very common back then. If your parents left, you threw a big giant party, which probably is going on as I speak at my house. <laughs> but uh, Track a new. But I'll never forget this one guy who was a real asshole. And he, your dad had him on the ground. Your dad got up and he's, uh, he's just laying on the ground. And it was like uh, that kicker that kicked that 66-yard field goal. He gave one right between the legs. <laughs> yeah, and I after that, I'll never forget for probably at least two years, I might run into one of them groups. 
And you think, hey, probably we're cool, right? We're cool, right? <laughs> Everything's cool. We're good. <laughs> You're safe. <laughs> yeah.